All right, let's go ahead and draw a picture first. And so we have Dan here. We have Dan riding along on a skateboard. And he is going forward at four meters per second. Then he jumps backward off of his skateboard. Jumps backward off. And his skateboard goes forward. Oh, that's a bit skateboard. Goes forward at eight meters per second. Okay, so they tell us that Dan's mass is 50 kilograms and the skateboard's mass is 5 kilograms. So over here together we have 55 kilograms for everything. Okay, so this one if, is just going to be kind of a backwards M1V1 plus M2V2 equals M3V3 because over here on this side is where they're combined. So eh, let's call that one still. So M1V1 is equal to Dan jumping off by himself, which is M2V2, so just Dan for two. And three, M3V3 will be just the skateboard by itself. And they tell us how fast is Dan going when he hits the ground. So we want this guy, so we want V2. So now let's go ahead and isolate V2. So we'll subtract over M3V3. So we have M1V1 minus M3V3 for the skateboard equals M2V2. Then we're going to divide by M2, both sides. So now we will divide this whole side by M2. So now let's go ahead and rewrite that. So now V2, or the velocity for Dan, is equal to the mass and speed of both of them together minus the mass and speed of the skateboard alone divided by the mass of just Dan. So now let's go ahead and plug everything in. So, whoops. So V2, or Dan's velocity, is equal to 55 kilograms times his speed, which was 4 meters per second. And we're going to subtract that with just the skateboard, so 5 kilograms times that speed of 8 meters per second. And we're going to divide that whole thing by his mass of M2, which we said was 50 kilograms. Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we get. So grab my calculator, we get 55 times 4 is 220 minus 8 times 5 is 40 so that's 180 for the top divided by 50 gives us 180 for the top divided by 50 gives us 3.6 meters per second for Dan